So Renogen is the holding company which owns 90% of Tetra 4 and Tetra 4 is the holder of the gas rights in Virginia. So Tetra 4 entered into an agreement firstly with Linda Engineering for the procurement of um, specialized plant and equipment to be manufactured which allows us to separate helium from our natural gas stream. The next contract that we entered into was with Linda Global Helium, which is a New York based company, and that is for the sale through an off take agreement of all of the helium that's produced by the facility. The final agreement that we entered into was with Afrox, whereby Afrox will operate and maintain the plant in question. Um, then, further to that, Linda Global Helium will distribute the helium in southern Africa through Afrox as its subsidiary. We are now currently in the initial phases. We've recently con uh, completed construction of our first compression station and uh, we've compressed South Africa's first onshore natural gas, which is, a, which is a major milestone. So for the rest of the year, we basically are running through the motions of proof of concept to show that the, um, that, uh, that the concept works by delivering gas to our first client in the form of Megabus. And from here, we are running through the motions of our envi environmental impact assessment, which will see us obtain approvals for the construction of a pipeline to reticulate our network um, of gas wells to one centralized point for processing. Um, that then leads us into phase two, and phase two will be construction of the pipeline along with a much larger compression facility, which will be able to accommodate all of the gas. In terms of the Virginia gas fields, it's certainly not a large enough gas field to, to have a meaningful impact on South Africa's GDP. Um, what, what we see um, Tetra 4's role as being is to really show the rest of the South African community that adoption of gas could actually be beneficial to the country as a whole. So basically it's that whole early adopter um, uh, um, scenario. Gas is being used everywhere else across the world and very successfully. Um, it's certainly not a new technology. It's tried, it's tested, it's proven. It just hasn't been done as, um, as prolifically in South Africa as it could be. And we see Tetra 4 as, being, as paving the way and pioneering the way to show business in South Africa. Actually, there are benefits to using gas, um, not only from a cost perspective, but also from an environmental perspective. And we really see that as being the biggest addition to the South African gas economy. Um, that you know, we're, we're showing the way for others to start doing this as well and hopefully to bring more upstream gas production facilities online.